Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review After the Wedding. And I remember seeing this trailer and thinking, this has a stacked cast, this is really, this seems really fill, like thrilling, it's got like, the tone of the trailer's like, is this like fatal attraction kind of thing, is some crazy stuff gonna happen about this woman who runs this orphanage in India and comes to America and tries to get money from this woman whose husband has some strange connection to this woman from India, and it turns out to be an extremely melodramatic drama with not a whole lot of thrills in it, despite the fact that director Bart Freudlich, at some points during the film, which, honestly, this was built up pretty well, uses some great tension and interesting musical choices to build up some tension in scenes that turn out, but then the payoff's like, you're building this up like this was super thrilling and like, oh my god, somebody's gonna die or something, and then it's like, nope, just, oh my god, they have connections. And then everybody's really sad and has real a lot of crying and a lot of really melodramatic moments in this film. And I'm just like, I feel like this film didn't really pay off to the point where it's like, I was expecting something very different, and that's the hard thing about expectations, I guess, and that's something that this trailer did wrong. This is just a straight human drama, and I didn't realize this was a remake, and I would like to see the remake at this point, because I felt like a lot of this film, there's moments where it's like you can build connections with characters, but instead it just goes for another, like, super emotional thing that I'm going to say that's going to make people cry, and we're going to cry this out in this scene, it's just like... Maybe I'd care more about you crying this out and, like, yes, what's going on and it has some really solid twists and turns in the story and I'll give that fil this film credit for that. But there's points where it's just like, I would have felt more connected if I felt more connected and understood the characters more than just, like, scene after scene after scene of, like, here's another heavy emotional thing, here's another heavy emotional thing. And, yes, the twists and turns of it did work. I'm like, I didn't see that coming, or I wasn't expecting that, but then it's just like, I wish I cared more, but I felt like the film didn't really sell that. And this has a game cast, and has really great actors in it. Michelle Williams, and Julianne Moore, Billy Crudup, they're all great actors, but I feel like a lot of this film wastes of them with just being like, here's another emotional scene, here's another emotional scene, and it's hard for me to get to see them do a whole lot of range because they're always dark and broody a lot of the time. Julianne Moore seems like she does have a lot more range in this film because like she gets to play drunk and angry and upset and silly throughout the film. Like Billy Crudup and Michelle Williams' characters are just like dark and broody all movie. And like Mich Julianne Moore is the standout, but there's one particular scene where I felt like this should have been really, really emotional, but it was so over the top that I'm just like, uh, I feel like I should care more, but I don't. And I feel bad about that, but I don't. And this film has a lot of that where I'm just like, I wish I cared more, but the film didn't do enough job of making me care. And... I was pretty disappointed. I was pretty disappointed by this film. I wish that this film spent a little more time making you see the layers of the characters and really understanding them instead of just like, here's another upsetting thing, here's another upsetting thing. If you're really into like straw, and like if you're really into like that drama and you're just like, I'm in for a good cry, this is film for you. But if you really expecting something greater and really want a connection to these characters in this story and what they're going through, this film really doesn't reach that. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. And thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.